obviously perception wise as a kid you don't i didn't associate a green lantern and immortal even though it makes sense like mm-hmm. musically and it was dope but yeah i think it, like like you said like you pointed out so much stuff early because again at that time we didn't have access to youtube and like jumping down a rabbit hole and it's like wait a minute what is he talking about like right. you know i think um i think that you definitely uh you know in terms of shedding the light to a whole generation of kids who were just hip-hop heads you definitely did open their eyes to a lot of wild shit man and a lot of truthful shit right and also i think that even to this day there's songs that i've written that people still ask me questions about like i'm not gonna lie kev even 20 years later people ask me is dance with the devil a true story and i have to look these people right in the eye and say sir I am not responsible for raping or killing any women. That is absolutely crazy. It is a song. However, yeah. I can take people, if they really want, to the building where this incident happened in Harlem. Mm. And the truth is that that actually did happen. And those people that were allegedly responsible for that began dying. And that's why it became such a powerful story. Because everyone's like, oh, you're telling hood tales. What if these motherfuckers come back for you? And I said, let them. Right. What are they going to do? Like, you think that the neighborhood is going to protect them after they find out what they really did, that they raped a woman? Do you realize that in rich communities, you can get away with stuff like that? You're like, oh, there are little kids coming in all hours of the night. No one says anything. Right. They're all billionaires. But if you live in a ghetto and someone says a rumor in the hood, oh, someone's touching kids in apartments. Yeah, they get, they're getting hey, yo, fucked bro, up. Yo, bro, everybody from the neighborhood. Yo, yo, yo. Get by, stop by. The, what the, yeah. the fuck is going on here, homes? So that's the kind of energy it was. And these people literally started dying. And one of them, I, 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 we're not going to mention names because these people don't deserve to be remembered in a good light, but this is a sad story. They couldn't find this man, Kevin. Mm-hmm. And I, what I explain to people about the street is that there's no, there's no rules. Just like there's no such thing as a safe gun, you have to respect everything. I'm a big Second Amendment guy, but you idea. have to respect the weapon. There's no such thing as a safe gun. These people were out here thinking that they could get away with a crime and that they wouldn't be found, and they murdered this man's son Mm. to get him to come to the funeral so they could kill him. This is the type of shit that people were dealing with. That's one of your... Would you say that's your most popular song? It's like one of them, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. um, For people who... Because there's going to be people watching this YouTube video who subscribe, who who maybe are not hip to your catalog. That's fine. Give us a break. Like For people who haven't heard Dance with the Devil, what is the premise of the record? Well, I mean, without giving the entire thing away, I would say that um, it's definitely a very realistic tale of what happens when people feel peer pressured to commit violence to join a gang or when they feel like they have to overcompensate for not being as tough as everybody thinks they is and they commit violence and do horrible things to people to try to prove something to somebody. I remind individuals that are really living in the street, we don't deal with gratuitous violence. Mm -hmm. We deal with people that have offended or hurt us who have come into our neighborhood and caused problems. The premise of going into another neighborhood and just trying to hurt people doesn't make sense now. I mean, even if you ask the essays that run each block, they'll be like, why would I start a war for no reason? But in New York City, it was structured differently. It wasn't so much gangs. It was crews back in New York. Right, right, right. So if you heard about a story like this, it became an urban legend immediately. And not just that, Kev. It was that the story was always a little bit different. Instead of it being the guy's mom, it would be the person's stepsister, it would be the aunt, it would be someone related. And I think when you have tales about, you know, murder or killing people, it's aggrandized some sometimes in hip hop to the point that you never really see the impact of what that is. Like even if y'all kill someone that's not a kid, if y'all kill someone that's thirty years old, you think that's not somebody's son? Of course. You don't think you have or a target on your back, right? You don't think that somebody's coming back or, for you. Yeah. That's the reality. Then, and more often than not, when people come up to me and they say, oh, do you think the guys from Dance with the Devil were really cursed by the devil? And I'm like, no, they lived a horrible lifestyle where they thought they could get away with hurting people at random. And eventually, it, it caught up, up, not just to them, but to their children as well. 